Sergio absolutely kicking himself there, but he's made amends in frame seven because Joe has won that one and trails by one frame. So Cope, 4-3 up, still needs one more to cross the finishing line. And we'll join them live now. This is the situation in one. the eighth frame. And we're back with Clive and Dennis. You join us just in time to see Jamie Cope put the opening red. Of what he hopes will be the last frame, <coughs> but having missed that black off the spot, I'm not so sure. Yeah, there was a couple of things happened in uh, the last frame that might just affect the young man. He was in with a great chance, and he got himself perfectly placed, and that was just a lack of concentration. And then he had a chance. If he pops the yellow, he's perfectly on the green. He would have been in the semi-final had that yellow dropped in. One. So he's got to do it all again here, Jamie Cope. A great test of this young man's character. I've enjoyed every single minute of this match. Nine. That was a heavy contact, I think. This could be the end of break because he looks to be pretty straight on the black. There's no way he can get to the reds from there. So it looks as if uh, Cope won't be punished heavily for missing... Uh, Black off the spot after taking the first red. 16. Joe Perry, 16. This is going to open things up, the safety shot. That really has opened the reds up. But Joe has got a red near the corner pocket and he's coming around to look at the situation. If he dropped the red in, he could finish on the black. Look where he's got the tip of the cue. But this is far from easy. Was uh, a half chance. Oh, he will. Horrible kick. It was a very, very attacking shot, and I think he hit it very well. And without that kick. He may have potted that red. Not many players would have taken that shot on. He was almost tight on the cushion. <clears throat> Look at the chance it's presented Joe Perry with. One. Joe using all his experience here to keep himself in this quarter final. He's got a chance to build up a substantial lead here. Eight. Nine. Nine. 
good shot. I know Joe can't hear what we're saying, but they've only played once, these two, and that was in the 16. Grand Prix last year. And the result was 17. Jamie Cope, five, Joe Perry, three. Already 39 in front. It could be a last frame shootout. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Well, the longer Perry spends at the table, the more he's building up the points and the more he's giving Cope the opportunity to dwell. Forty. On his mistakes and also a stroke of ill luck when he got that thunderous kick. Yeah, a lot of people 41. would say it was the wrong choice of shot because of the difficulty of the pot, but we'll never know whether it was the right choice or not because of the heavy contact. Forty-eight. Just 49. the black needed, and we're going to be all square and into a decider. Great performances from Joe Perry. Jamie Cope put him under extreme pressure. 56. And he's come up with the answers so far. 57. Yes, Perry has uh, got in close and stayed close in this frame. Very nice control. Always one of the strengths of his game. 64. 65. You've already seen one century from Joe Perry in frame three. This is a very timely effort indeed. Seventy-nine. Another heavy contact there. But he did come into this match full of confidence, didn't he, Clive? That was a terrific result against 86. Ken Doherty. Five, no. Very few people Seven. beat the darling of Dublin, five, nil. Ninety-two. 
94. Hasn't uh, had to hit a ball hard throughout this break. 97. That green was just about the longest pot that he's had during it. 101. Excellent close control. Yields Joe Perry. His second century of the match. 106. For the last few minutes, Cope will have been gathering himself for the deciding frame. 112. in the frame, go Perry. Perry's clearance of 119, levels the match at 4 all and sets up a deciding ninth frame.